Yo, what up, it's Darn. Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How are you guys doing back up in it? Gonna break down some top performers. Yes. On the basketball court. 18. All right, it's nearing the end of 2018, and there has been a plethora of great performers mm -hmm. this year, and also last year, which is very surprising. Uh, I can't really find the shoe that I really, really hate. I know, there's you know, so many good shoes, it's yeah, crazy. It was all like, it's pretty damn nice. Yeah. Or, dude, this is amazing, you know what I'm saying? So, great year uh, for basketball shoes. But uh, So, we're going to do a little bit different. Uh, I guess we'll call it a top 10. Mm -hmm. But we're both doing top 5. So, it'll be my top 5 yeah. and it'll be Donnie Boy's top 5. Top 5, top 5. Top 5, exactly. So, I guess, is it a top 5 or top 10? I don't know. Um, but anyways, let's start off with number 5. Uh, so, my number 5 is... The Anta KT4, which mm. I'm basically uh, I'm done testing. We just gotta, you know, film it and then like do all the stuff for it. A performance review will be coming soon, but the KT4 is very very nice, premium materials, and you, it's it's a great price, 125 bucks. The cushion is uh, insane. It's a little too crazy for me, I would say. Uh, traction also is really good. Materials are premium. Feels like the LeBron 15. Um, fit is great. Uh, I would say the support could have been a little bit better. That's why it's uh, lower on the list uh, for me. But still, the KT4 is a great performer. And I thoroughly enjoyed playing that shoe. So uh, that's my number five. Uh, my number five is going to be the Hover Havoc. Mm. Uh, I love that shoe. Hover Havoc Low. Um, there also is the mid out there. Crazy, which is, cr which is a high. I don't know why they're calling it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah, you know. But anyways, but uh, super crazy traction. Yeah, super super supportive. At the same time, um, it's very very light and minimal, which I really really like. Um, and there's a decent amount of impact protection. Nothing too crazy with the cushion. You still feel super responsive, and it's pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, so there's that. And if you guys want to cop any of these shoes, we'll leave a link in the description box. But anyways, my number four is the Kyrie Fly Trap. Mm. Everything about that shoe is amazing. The only reason I haven't been playing that shoe as much is because the cushion kind of gets to my legs a little bit. Mm. Um, I've been feeling, I don't know, I play a lot, so my legs haven't been feeling too good. So I'm trying to play in shoes that have a lot better cushion, you know. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the, the traction, fit, materials, and all for the price of 80 bucks. Uh, it's a great performer. Uh, so, but if you need impact protection, um, I mean, it's not bad, but if you play in it a long time, you definitely feel it on your legs. So if you're a little bit or older or you need that impact protection, then just watch out for that. Um, but if you don't really care about that, then it's, you should probably get it, you know? All right, my number four is the Jordan 33. Ooh. Air Jordan 33. Um, some Definitely some crazy innovative, innovative stuff. I would have liked it to be a little bit closer to the top of the list, but it's just a little heavy um, and a little bulky feeling. But I just love the lockdown. A lockdown is really big for me and the ease of tying it with the fast fit system is crazy. Um, traction is also pretty damn good. Support is off the charts. So um, is a little expensive, but I also like the way it looks aesthetically. So there's, that's my number four. Okay, my number three is LeBron 16A. So LeBron 16, I mean, traction is amazing. Cushion is a little too crazy, but sometimes, you know, I like it. You know, that zoom is very, very bouncy. Materials are premium, feels great on foot. I love that tongue system. It's really easy to put the shoe on. Um, and the fit was great for me as well. So um, nothing really bad about it. It's just an excellent performer. A little expensive though, 185 bucks. But, uh, so there's that. Uh, my number three is gonna be the uh, Jordan Jumpman Hustle. Ooh. Uh, another budget model. 110. Super 110 cheap. Bucks, yes. um, pretty dope looking aesthetically. Um, and very similar to the Hover Havoc in that it's it's pretty low, it's very supportive, um, pretty damn minimal on foot. Uh, impact protection and cushion overall is a little better in the Jumpman. That's why it kind of moved up a little bit. Uh, but overall, just a solid, solid shoe. And traction is pretty damn crazy as well. Yes. Love that shoe. All right, moving on to number two is an old shoe. But it's my, my old trusty Kyrie 4. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that shoe. I mean, it's a Kyrie 4. You guys already know. Kyrie 5 has leaked. Very excited for that. So, um, yeah, I don't want to see the Kyrie 4 in any list either. But you can still get it. That's why we're putting it yeah. in the list. And I still love playing it. So, 
Kyrie Ford for the win there. Um, I saw, I, I know you copied my list because that's my number two as well, mm-hmm. is the Kyrie Four. Uh, super, super amazing shoe. Yes. Um, I, I, I left the, the fly trap out of my list just because it's very similar to the Kyrie Four. And I, I just feel like the Kyrie Four is a little bit better, but it, close up there too. I yes. mean, it, that could easily be a number two or three or even on this list. But there's just too many shoes. Yes. But the Kyrie 4 is awesome. Traction is insane, obviously. And the, the outsole curvature and, and, and the level of support. Also not super expensive, which is which is cool. Yeah. All right. Moving on to number one. You guys already know. It's, for me, it's a Hardy Mountain 3, man. Yeah. If you want a great, amazing-ass performer, get the Hardy Mountain 3. I mean, it, it's, it's so much better than all of these shoes, in my opinion. Uh, very minimal, but... Everything about it is just what I need in a basketball shoe mm-hmm. and what I love about a bas- about that shoe. So there you go. 140 bucks is still like not too crazy expensive. So it's a it's a pretty good price, but the, but the performance is off the charts. Um. So yeah, go ahead and cop that if you yeah. want a good good performer. Yeah, uh, my number one. You guys already know. Sick of saying it. The uh, Kobe 360. Uh, just the most minimal shoe ever made. Um, I have yet to test the Harden, so obviously those would probably be on my list, judging by Sammy's impressions. So uh, I'm going to cop a pair, and hopefully that'll change pretty soon. But as of right now, I haven't found a better basketball shoe. Yes. So anyways, that's just our opinion. That's our top list. So if you disagree, tell us what your top three is down in the comment section below. And again, if you guys want to cop any of these shoes, we'll try to leave a link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.